The elements of art are the building blocks of art. They include line, shape, color, value, space, form, and texture. To an artist, texture is the way something feels or appears to feel. Artists often show a variety of textures in their artwork. Using only paint, the artist Nicolas de Largelaire created the look of warm, soft velvet and cold, smooth, hard metal, fluffy feathers, and silky gloves. Here, the artist Rembrandt created the appearance of many textures. Bristly whiskers, fluffy collar, and soft fur, among other textures. In order to have texture, you need to have repetition. Repeating of small parts make up the texture. This dog's coat isn't soft and silky because of just one or two hairs. It's many hairs repeated that make Sadie's fur soft and silky. This beadwork art isn't smooth and bumpy because of just a few beads. There are many beads that make the whole artwork smooth and bumpy. But when you look closely, you notice there is pattern here also. Pattern is a repeated design or motif. Pattern occurs when there is enough repetition to predict what comes next. Texture and pattern are similar because they both require repetition. If we look at texture under a magnifying glass or microscope, we would see a pattern. Likewise, if we view a pattern from a distance, it might appear to be a texture. The denim fabric of my pants has a texture, but looking even closer reveals a pattern. The artist Albrecht Dürer created the soft, visual texture of this hair a relative of a rabbit, by painting a pattern of hairs that make up the fur. Similarly, he created different textures of this rhinoceros drawing by using patterns of lines. Here's a project to try. A drawing that uses pattern to show texture. You will need paper, a pencil, and if you have it, a black marker or crayon. Start by using your pencil to divide up your paper with whisper lines. Try to make the lines almost invisible so when you're finished with your artwork, the whisper lines aren't noticeable. Next, use your marker or crayon to add different patterns or textures in each of the shapes on the paper. In one shape, add a motif and repeat it until the area is filled. When you move to an adjacent area, make sure to use a very different motif or the overall shape will not show. Remember to completely fill each shape with your motif. Each shape will show up better if there is a contrast between them. Contrast means difference. When two patterns or textures are next to each other, one should be much darker than the other. This can be accomplished by using heavier lines or marks, or by drawing the motif closer together. Have fun with texture and pattern. I can't wait to see what you can do.